Did Jesus exist? Was he a real person who preached in Judea, or was he made up? To answer this question, we'll have to look at all the best available evidence for Jesus. Our sources for him are almost entirely written and tell us of his life. We can divide the evidence for Jesus into three categories. Non-Christian evidence, Christian evidence outside the synoptics, or in other words, outside of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and non-canonical evidence, which are Christian evidence that is not in the New Testament. Let's start with the non-Christian evidence, evidence that does not have any Christian affiliation. We have rabbinic evidence which originates from the 4th century or later, and states that on the eve of Passover, Jesus was hanged. It also says that Jesus was a magician who had led Israel astray. While there are differences in the interpretation of Jesus' miracles, this source does acknowledge that Jesus existed. Our next non-Christian source is Tacitus, arguably Rome's greatest historian. In his famous work, The Annals of Imperial Rome, he records that the Great Fire of Rome was blamed on the Christians by Nero. Tacitus also tells us that the name Christian originates from Christus, a man who had suffered the extreme penalty during the reign of Tiberius at the hands of the procurator Pontius Pilate. Our last non-Christian source is Josephus, a Romano-Jewish historian who tells us that James was the brother of Jesus who was called Christ. He also says that at the same time there appeared Jesus a wise man, if indeed one ought to call him a man, for he was a doer of amazing deeds the teacher of persons who received truth with pleasure. He won over many Jews and many Greeks. He was the Messiah, and when Pilate condemned him to the cross, the leading men among having accused him, those who loved him for the first did not cease to do so. For he appeared to them on the third day alive again, the defiant prophets having spoken these things and a myriad of other marvels concerning him, and to the present tribe of Christians named after this person had not disappeared. These texts provide further evidence from a non-Christian source for Jesus' existence and his crucifixion under Pilate. So, we can probably conclude that the non-Christian sources confirm that Jesus Christ did exist. This brings us to the Christian evidence outside the synoptics, meaning that they are outside Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. This evidence is dated no earlier than the mid-60s of the first century, but here we are talking about Paul's epistles. Paul's letters tell us that Jesus was born of a woman, was born a Jew, had brothers, was a man of meekness and gentleness, did not please himself, and was crucified. Paul also tells us and describes prime responsibility for Jesus' death to some Jews. Paul's account is considered primary and agrees with Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and the non-Christian sources. So we can say that Paul, or in other words, the Christian evidence other than the Synoptic Gospels, do validate Jesus' existence. Which brings us to the non-canonical evidence. In other words, Christian evidence that is not in the New Testament. We have the sayings or traditions about Jesus recorded in a variety of places in Christian sources. An example would be Luke's Gospel, which records an extra small incident of Jesus meeting someone working on the Sabbath. These sayings do not have a real claim to be part of the original text of the Gospels, However, they may be authentic in understanding Jesus. We also have the Gospel of Thomas, which mentions Jesus very briefly. While the non-canonical evidence doesn't tell us too much about Jesus, it still recognises that he did exist. So it's fair to say that the fact Jesus existed, that he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, and that he had a band of followers who continued to support his cause, seems to validate his existence. If nothing else, the non-Christian evidence can provide us with certainty that Jesus was a real person who preached in the lands of Judea.